what the fuck. Hey guys, I received so many DMs from girls being like, oh my god, The Bachelorette is starting, are you going to do Bachelorette recaps? And I didn't even think about ever doing Bachelorette recaps because, I don't know, like this channel isn't for <laughs> recapping TV shows, but when I did The Bachelor recaps, you guys loved them. So since enough people requested it with me totally not expecting anyone to request it, I felt it would be my duty to fucking recap The Bachelorette. So once a week I will be uploading my opinions on Becca Kufrin's season of Bachelorette. I would just like to start out by saying I am so fucking happy Becca's The Bachelorette and if any of my roommates watch this, my roommates from Florida, they're gonna be like, nah, fuck you because they did not like Becca. They did not want her to be The Bachelorette. I don't know what their beef is with Becca, <laughs> but I liked Becca. If you watch my Bachelor recaps, Maybe you'll remember that in one of them I said, part of me kind of hopes that Ari doesn't pick Becca and picks Lauren so that Becca can be the obvious next Bachelorette. But Ari did us one better, chose Becca, broke her fucking heart, and then she became the Bachelorette, so. I'm excited about it. I think she has a really good personality. Like, she's a bro, but she's a chick, which is like my kind of chick. So I'm excited about this season. So for this episode, recap one, I'm just going to give my opinions on the different men. And granted, I was wine drunk when I watched Bachelorette. I get so wine drunk for every Bachelorette Bachelor episode because like, it's just a tradition. Like who the fuck doesn't drink wine when they're watching the Bachelor Bachelorette, okay? I'm just gonna give my opinion on all the men. I think there are some great men. I think that there are a lot of interesting characters that have been placed on the show for TV sake, but you know, it's a TV show. Although I will say, and I know that saying this is going to ruffle some feathers. Oh my God, Brayden's a fucking racist, whatever the fuck. Fucking don't even come at me with that dumb shit because everyone nowadays is racist. Like if you're a white person that speaks your mind on anything, you're just fucking racist. So I'm sure someone is not gonna appreciate the comment that I'm about to make, but it's fucking honest. And it's what everyone's thinking, so I'm gonna say it. On all past seasons, The Bachelor slash Bachelorette, they throw in some Hispanic people, some black people, some fucking Guatemalan people, I don't know, to have diversity and different ethnicities and different races. I'm like, we're inclusive. Look, we've, we've put all different men and women out there for The Bachelor Bachelorette to choose. But we all fucking know that a white person is always going to win. Like, that's just how it's gone for the like fucking 35 fucking years the show's been around. Obviously, that was an exaggeration, but we know that's how it goes and we all kind of know the fucking non-white people are going to be voted off by halfway through the season because it's always white people that win. It's dominated by white people. It's a white person show. They just have to cover their bases by throwing in other races and ethnicities so it doesn't seem fucking like racist or biased or whatever the fuck. But then we had Rachel who was a top contender, which was like, oh my God, finally someone picked a black person to make it to the top three. And since Rachel made it to the top three, she got a bachelorette, which was huge for the franchise. Like, thank fucking God, only took you so many fucking years to pick someone who was not white to be the leader of the show. And Rachel's season was fucking amazing. Now we're back to a white person, not surprising, but Becca's celebrity crush is Michael Strahan, who is a large black man. If you didn't know that, now you do. And you can definitely tell that this year, the producers have put in so many more black men as contestants than they have in years past because her celebrity crush is a black guy. So this might be the first year ever that the black dudes actually have a chance to get in the top three and then maybe we'll have a black bachelor, which would be fucking dope, right? I'm just saying, this might be the first year that black people might actually be able to pull fucking through in a show that's dominated by white people. So it'll be very interesting to see if she ends up with a black guy or a white guy. And at the rose ceremony for this episode, at the end, she gave out roses to literally every single black dude before she even started on the white dudes. So she <laughs> likes herself some big black dick. <laughs> so without further ado, I guess I will just go through the contestants and feel free to tell me below what you think of my opinion on the contestants, which contestants you like, which contestants you don't like. Let's make this a discussion. The discussions on my bachelor recaps were always so fucking funny. So let's dive on in, shall we? Okay, number one, Lincoln. That's the big black dude from Nigeria. Fucking love his accent. Like accents that are like 
out of the box. So not American, not Australian, not English. Like everyone's fucking heard those accents a million times. But like Nigeria, that is like a different accent. Like how many fucking people do you know from Nigeria? Probably none. So I love his fucking accent. He seems like a really genuine guy. But I did read an article on the internet like talking shit about him like apparently he did bad things or had an ex-girlfriend or I don't know what it was Google him there's some gossip surrounding him now apparently I'm pretty sure he's gonna like cause some drama later on in the season I don't really remember because again I was fucking wine drunk but I think things with Lincoln are definitely gonna take a turn for the worse okay the next guy was Chase who got sent home because his ex-girlfriend, not really a girlfriend, whatever the fuck, from two years ago, texted another contestant being like, oh my god, Chase is gonna be on the show, like he dated me, he's a horrible person, whatever the fuck. He ended up being sent home, right, if I'm remembering correctly, because fucking Becca doesn't want that drama up in here on the first day. Like it doesn't look good for you if ex-girlfriends are already like starting shit, because in all seasons past, we know if an ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend comes up from the dead, you're like instantly axed. So this guy basically didn't stand a chance the second that that dirt came out from like under the covers. <laughs> That's not a phrase at all. But I really didn't even think he was like that cute or interesting anyway. So like might as well just start cutting off the excess fat now, you know? Oh, Blakey, she met Blake after the final rose and he put her on a horse and then he came out on an ox and put her on the ox. I mean, personally, I don't really like his whole thing, like a sense of humor, his personality, the whole get on the horse, get on the ox. He dresses very metro, which I don't like. Like I don't want the dude to dress better than me. He was wearing like a red jacket with a red shirt and a red bow tie that were all slightly different variations of like salmon pink red with kind of two short pants and then nice shoes. So very fashionable, endearing personality, very adorable, but definitely gives me like little brother vibes. Like someone that not only I want a friend zone, but I kind of am like, oh my God, oh, you're adorable. So to me, no sexual attraction. If I think you're adorable and view you as a little brother, you're not doing it for me but he's doing well with Becca and I think he's going to be like a fan favorite this season. I just don't like the way he dresses and I think he's too like sweet and innocent for me. Like I really think that if he ever even went on one date with me, he would be corrupted as fuck. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, Jordan. Jordan, who kind of looks like Dean, but is way more like gay than that and i don't give a fuck if that's not pc to say because this guy looks gay talks gay acts gay i don't give a fuck if you are a straight man who spent six hours picking out your outfit for this show and all you talk about in your interviews is how you know fashion better than anyone and whatever the fuck i don't give a fuck if you're not gay i'm still gonna believe that you like dicks in your ass so i'm gonna be turned off because i like men that like putting their dicks in vaginas so jordan besides the fact that he's a pompous asshole and he's not cute enough to be as full of himself as he is he's not he looks like a tiny little gay boy that would get eaten alive at a gay club i just don't like him at all i can't believe he even made it past the first episode like the fact that jordan the not gay fashion boy made it farther than the hot grocery guy like what the fuck <laughs> like literally what the fuck i don't like that guy at all like my dad was watching and was just dying laughing at all the parts of jordan's interview because it almost doesn't seem real like there's no fucking way like is that really your personality dude please tell me you're acting for tv because if that's really your personality oh my god you're gonna be single like forever okay next up is clay he is the biracial ex pro football player who had like little cameo done on him which you know people that get a little cameo in the beginning usually make it pretty far me and my mom really like this guy my mom thinks he's so cute like literally dies over him i also think that he's very attractive and he's very tall and he's very fit and whatever the fuck but I don't fucking like his personality. He's just way too fucking nice. Like, I know everyone likes a nice guy. Like, I like guys that are nice, obviously. If you treat me like shit, like, I'm gonna fucking cut you off. But this guy is, like, so nice. This guy was meant to be the father of at least six children kind of guy. Just, like, totally a family man. Totally the kind of guy that's gonna get his wife flowers on a random Wednesday on his way home from work. And that's great. And I think Becca deserves that. And I think that he's going to be a top contender this season but just for me I just you gotta have a little bit of an edge to you 
and he has no edge to me. Here I am hating on like the nicest guys of the season. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I like any of these guys for myself. Like if I was Becca, I don't, I don't know who I'd like, but I mean, once you get to know them, their personality, all that shit, all that shit fucking matters too, I guess. I don't know if this guy got voted off or not, but I thought he was so cute. Nick, this blonde dude, see that ring light fucking up in here? I thought this guy was so cute. Like, this guy's so my type. Like, 100%, I think this guy is so fucking cute. And my dad was like, that guy's not cute at all. His nose takes over his whole fucking face and his eyes are close together. I'm like, dad, shut the fuck up. Everyone knows I have really weird taste in men, okay? Like, I have liked the weirdest looking dudes, but someone has to fucking like the weird looking dudes, okay? And I don't think he's weird looking. I actually think he's so fucking cute. And I can't remember if he got a rose at the very end, or if he did get voted off, I think he stayed. I mean, I didn't like his personality. He was the one that like brought out the like back vibrator massager to put on her back. And that just is like instant sexual connotation, like a fucking back vibrator. I'm like, we all know what everyone's thinking. I don't think I'd like him, but I definitely would like to fuck him. John, mm, that is the guy that's like Asian-y looking, probably half Asian. You know, it's the one dude that's fucking half Asian looking. I just remember being like, I'm not usually attracted to people that are Asian looking. And that's just my fucking preference. That doesn't make me racist against Asians. So I just remember like not liking his look at all. Ricky. Oh, I remember who this guy was. Another huge, black, insanely ripped dude. But I thought this guy had a really weirdly fat face. <laughs> I know this is so judgmental, but come on, these people are going on TV, they're literally being selected 50% for their look, it's a fucking dating show. She's gonna end up having sex with the last three fucking men. You're getting judged on your looks, okay? And for every girl in America that thinks you're not attractive, like me, there's gonna be 10,000 that do. And even if you don't make it far, all of America has seen you, someone will wanna date you and you'll get it in. Side note about that, oh my God. So there's this new show on MTV called X on the Beach, which is like probably one of the trashiest, worst reality shows I've ever divulged in, but I love reality TV, I had to give it a chance. Chase Brody McNary, super hot guy. He made it to the final three of JoJo season of The Bachelorette. And remember, he never said I love you to someone before. And then he finally told JoJo that he loved her. And then JoJo was like, well, this is shitty because I have to send you home. And then he was like heartbroken. And everyone was like, oh, Chase, the nice hot Christian boy that's never loved anyone before. You can love me. Please love me. Okay, remember, fan favorite. He's on X on the Beach. And on the very first episode, he was like, Hey, I'm Chase. Like, you might remember me from JoJo's season of The Bachelorette. Anyway, now that I've been on that show, so many women want me, and I guess I'm, like, kind of a fuckboy now because I just, like, fuck everyone. Like, in more or less words, he literally said, because of The Bachelorette, every woman in America wants me. I have girls throwing themselves at me. I fuck everyone that I want to, and now I'm a piece of shit. And I was just like, what? I was actually heartbroken by that. So that's just fucking proof that it doesn't matter who you are, how good of a person you are, whatever the fuck, once you're on national TV and everyone gets a little taste of you, the people that want you are gonna come for you. Grant, not relevant at all. Just remember that he had a weird fucking face and I didn't like his face at all. Like every time he was on the screen, I was like, I fucking hate that guy's face. So many of these people are so irrelevant. You know that you fucking aren't gonna make it far when you're so irrelevant in the very first two hour episode that people that are diehard fans, me, don't fucking remember shit about you. Camille, oh, Camille was dressed horribly but had such a good face he's wearing too short too tight pants and then like black sequin vans like i don't know since when that became a fashion trend for men but if you asked me what demographic of human being would be wearing black sequin vans i would say women i don't know what the bachelor franchise is trying to do this year by bringing on all these men that are metro slash but possibly gay but i'm pretty sure becca wants a straight man also your name's camille Pretty sure that's a girl's name. Again, just saying the sexuality of some of these people is very up in the air. Chris, oh, I didn't like this guy. This was the guy who got the text from the other guy's ex-girlfriend and he had to like confront him about it, which just, what the fuck, dude? Like, is that really necessary to stir up some trouble? Like, who gives a fuck? I can't believe he made it through, but I think his face looks like a fucking rodent pug. <laughs> like if a pug and a rabbit had a baby, 
that would be Chris. And we just know he sucks because he's starting shit on the very first day. Like, mind your fucking own business. Like, who gives an actual fuck? Okay, Colton, 100% gonna be in like the top four, for sure. This guy used to date Ali Raisman. He's like a football player or something. And he like reached out to Ali Raisman because he thought she was so hot. If you don't know who Ali Raisman is, she is one of the many little Olympian gymnastic girls, you know? She's like all over the news and stuff because she had to like speak out against Larry Nasser when that whole molestation, bullshit, horrible shit was going down. So he dated Ali Raisman for a while and then I guess they broke up because now he's on this show. And he was cute and he definitely seems like a really good person. He's blonde and has blue eyes, he has a great body and he was a football player and just on paper, it's all so cool. But he's like really religious. And again, I think that I would corrupt him. I personally wouldn't pick him, but I know that he's gonna make it far and that's cute and he's a good guy and he's attractive. So like everyone comment below how much you love Colton. I'll be over here in the anti-Colton club. Oh, this guy, Chris Staples, the black dude with like the really light blue eyes and he had a diamond earring in each ear. Definitely lose the diamond earrings. That doesn't look good on fucking anyone. Like who the fuck are you, Quavo? Get that reference? No? No? Okay. He is very attractive. I'm pretty sure he's the one that dunked on her, like jumped over her and dunked the ball. Very cool. And then everyone started a little pickup game, which I thought was really fun. I actually like this guy. He's very fucking attractive. The light eyes with dark features is like an instant winner. Like you could get laid every fucking day and you know it. But I also liked his personality and I like the basketball stuff. Maybe that's because I used to play basketball <laughs> in fifth grade. Don't get excited. But I like him. I hope he goes far. Grocery store owner Joe. This guy is so cute. Besides the Nick Blonde guy, this guy would be my first choice of person to fuck. However, he was so full of himself and definitely thought he was like God's gift to women. So that whole personality is such a turn off for me. But his face is just so fucking good that you'd think he would last. And he fucking got voted off the first day. Like that is a huge letdown for all the women of America. And also, that's a letdown for him. You fucking know that this guy thought there was no way in hell he would ever be fucking voted off this fucking show. And he was <laughs> sent home the first night. Garrett, who got the first impression rose, he came out of a minivan and literally said that he wanted to be a dad so bad that he brought this minivan full of children's toys and car seats and just whatever to summarize his desire to procreate. Um, I don't fucking want a kid. So that to me was fucking vile. I was literally like, oh my God, like shuddering. My skin was crawling, disgusting. I don't want a kid. So you coming out and your whole spiel being about how you want to be a dad so bad that you brought a minivan full of kid shit for the kid you don't even fucking have yet. Disturbing. I hated that. I thought it was so fucking weird. And then when he got the first impression rose, I was like, are you fucking kidding? The guy with the minivan full of kids toys for the kid he doesn't have with the first impression rose, that's fucking creepy. I just thought there were other people that could be way more deserving, but again, at least he's like a nice guy. And if she really wants to start a family soon because she's already like 29, then maybe that is like her thing. But then there was like all that controversy, like, oh, Garrett got the first impression rose and it turns out on his old Instagram account, he was liking, he was liking offensive memes about the Parkland shooting and me, 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 me. And everyone just fucking lost their shit. Like, who gives a fuck? People have too much fucking time on their hands. Who the fuck found this guy's old Instagram, saw the activity on his old Instagram, from probably years ago to then be like, oh my God, look, he's a horrible person. Who gives a fucking rat's ass? Every person on this planet is a piece of shit. All of us in our head find offensive jokes funny. All of us in our head say horribly offensive things, probably on the daily. All of us in our head find offensive memes funny. It's just whether or not we double tap them or not. We're all pieces of shit. Who gives a fuck that he might've liked some insensitive memes? The world goes on. He's not a bad guy, clearly. He drove a minivan. Oh my God, Leo, the guy with all the hair, disgusting. I fucking hate long hair on guys, let alone like that. Like you literally look like the caveman from the Geico commercials and that's not hot for anyone. And I don't know why the fuck you think it looks hot, Leo. Do you get laid, Leo? I'm concerned for you, Leo. Oh my God, I hated this guy. Jake, 
First of all, his face just looks fucked up. <laughs> and Becca sent him home before the rose ceremony because she was like, I've met you on several occasions and there's been no spark and I don't know why the fuck you're here. You obviously just want to be on TV like me and you aren't going to date so you can leave now. And he was like, what do you mean you're not a spark? You should definitely give me another chance because I want to be on TV so bad. And she was like, yeah, no, sorry, buddy. And I don't blame her because his eyes were like this, like permanently. And I just, I don't know about you, but I don't think this is the look that I'm looking for in my future husband, so. Trent, oh, I can't remember what Trent said or did or what his whole thing was, but I really liked him. Like I remember being like, oh my God, I would definitely really like that guy. Like I'd be interested in talking to him more. Don't remember what he did, but I liked him. And this picture of him ain't too bad either. Boy, is that like 10 abs? Oh my God, I don't even have like two of those. Then we have Jean Blanc, who's like French or something. I don't know, I think a lot of women like that. I do not. I do not like accents unless they're Nigerian, which I've learned. But in general, I don't like accents. I don't even like Australian accents. I don't like British accents. I don't fuck with accents. I want you to sound American. <laughs> like my voice is so crude and crass and just like, like if you have a nice, lovely accent, I'm just gonna make your eardrums bleed anyway. So I'll just do the world a favor and save all the people with accents for all the women that appreciate that. And I'll just take the fucking country ass, American ass, Texan ass man. But I think she really liked Jean Blanc. I mean, I think she liked all the black guys because it, like, I'm not exaggerating, literally fucking go back and watch the rose ceremony. She's like, okay, rose number one, you, rose number two, you, Rose number three, you, and then all, all of a sudden, every single fucking black guy in the crowd has a rose, and all the white people are sweating like, oh my god, what the fuck, what the fuck, man, this has been our show for the past fucking 37 seasons, we've been the front runners, we always win, not today, boy, the black men are coming in, they're coming through, they're gonna rip Becca's pussy open, so all y'all's little white dicks probably aren't gonna do it for her, I really hope that a black guy becomes the next Bachelor. Like that's what I'm rooting for out of a season where the woman likes a lot of black men. That means black men have a very high chance of making it very far, which means a black man has a very high chance of becoming the next Bachelor, which we need in 2018, okay? And yeah, I think that's it for the men. Thank God they're gonna get like voted off because at this point, like that was too much talking if I was to talk about every fucking contestant. But that's what I think. That's where I'm at. Let me know what you think. Well, I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.